Hello there. Hi, my name is Ryan Van Duzer. <laughs> so this is the third time I've made one of these videos where I've gone through all my footage and travels from the year and I make a little compilation video. And this year looks a little skinny. I didn't travel all that much this year. This year actually wasn't all that good to tell you the truth in the world of traveling and business and, and making money. I'm hoping 2016 is a lot better. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to move back into my mom's basement. Um, but it still was amazing. I got to get some pretty cool adventures in and uh, you know, life is good. I'm still here in Boulder, healthy, happy, and uh, riding my bike and eating burritos. So you really can't beat that. But uh, check it out. I'm gonna show you some of my adventures. See, check. I started the year off dancing, of all things, on a stage in front of about 500 people. It was a fundraiser. I didn't really want to do it, but I finally twisted my arm enough to do it. It was great fun until my partner accidentally punched me in the face. Ah! My first big, big adventure, I took buses all the way from my house down to Northern Mexico, the Copper Canyons, with some of my best friends to run the Caballo Blanco race from the book Born to Run, you know? We went all the way down there, it was beautiful, but then the race was canceled right before it was supposed to start because narco bad guys came in and shot up the police station and they figured not a good idea to run a race, so we did. What are you gonna do that makes you psyched to wake up every single morning? What? One of my favorite highlights of the year wasn't traveling at all, it was right here in Boulder doing the commencement address at Boulder High School, my alma mater, Go Panthers! It was so much fun. I got the crowd all hyped up. I'm not sure if I said anything motivational, but I certainly had a good time. Go Panthers! Went to France this summer filming with Viator. Got to see Normandy. It really makes me proud to be an American, knowing what my brothers and sisters fought for, for Europe and for the world. Burning Man has become a very important week in my life. This is my third year in a row. I had an absolute blast. It's one of the only places on the planet, and I've traveled a lot, that has this type of positive energy. It's one of the most inclusive places I've ever been, one of the most loving places I've ever been, and it's just so fun. Every day you just run around and have the time of your life. Damn, life is good! And I even went to San Francisco to film the new Belgium Tour to Fat Bike Parade Circus Extravaganza. It really is one of the most fun bike events on the planet. And one of my favorite adventures near and dear to my heart was taking my mom to Moab. She'd never been there and it's one of my favorite places on the planet. And I think it's safe to say that my mama Pichu is psyched on Moab too. I've got my bike, I've got my body, it's time to ride across Cuba. Toward the end of the year, I was like, you know what? I need to get out, I need an adventure. So I took a bike, went down to Cuba, and rode my bike all the way across Cuba. It was one of the most eye-opening travel experiences of my life. I really needed that trip in a lot of different ways. It got me charged up, it got me back on my bike. It was one of the first adventures I've been on in many years where I didn't have an itinerary, no plans. It was just me and my bike, and every single day I would just get on it and ride to wherever the hell I wanted to, and usually at the end of those rides I met happy, smiley, shiny, friendly people, and it was the most amazing 20 days I've had in a really long time. It doesn't get much cuter than this. Check it out. Hi, guys. Hello, little piggies. So there you have it. That's pretty much it, my 2015 year in review. And I realized that at the beginning of the video, I said I didn't get to travel much. And you're probably thinking, well, what a spoiled brat. Yes, you did get to travel. I get to travel more than most people. But it just wasn't as much as I usually travel. And I really didn't get the projects that I was hoping for. And I look back on this footage and I'm like, wow, I'm a lucky guy. I'm really grateful for the experiences that I've had. And I'm getting better at not freaking out when projects fall through. It used to bog me down. It used to make me so bummed out when things didn't work out, but you know what? Things always work out. You surround yourself with good people, you work hard, and you just kick butt every day doing what you love, and it'll work out. At least that's what I believe. And as long as I believe it, I'm gonna have a smile on my face. It sounds cheesy, but it's true. And yeah. My goal for this year 
is to create more of my own content, get back to the roots. The past couple years I've been waiting for big production companies to call me and it uh, hasn't really worked out that well. So it's time to take charge, get my camera back out again. A huge thank you to all of you who follow along and I promise more inspiring, worldly, fun, crazy, goofy adventures in 2016. Let's do it. Hey amigos, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out these other videos. I promise never to sing again. Thank you.